I found a love for me well, Darling, just dive right in Follow my lead well, I found a girl Beautiful and sweet well, I never knew you were the someone Waiting for me Cause we were just kids when we fell in love Not knowing what it was I will not give you up this time but Darling, just kiss me slow Your heart is all I own And in your eyes, your hope Between my arms Barefoot on the grass well, Listening to our favorite song When you said you looked a mess I whispered underneath my breath But you heard it Darling, you
first film, a reading from the book of Genesis. Male and female, he created them. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. And God saw everything that he had made. And God, behold, it was very. This is the word of the Lord. Did not choose you, but I chose you, 
and appointed him that you should go and pay food, and that your food should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. The gospel of the Lord. My dear Marshall and Lisa, my dear friends, this is a very beautiful sacrament and beautiful celebration, and all of us are witnessing this beautiful celebration, a very energetic celebration. You see, in every sacrament, there is an outward sign to the very inward sign of reality. For example, the outward sign of the sacrament of baptism. It is pouring of water. But the very inward sign that one is washed away from the original sin. That is the inward sign. But the outward sign is pouring of water. So one may see only the outward sign of it. But one needs to see the very inward sign that is the cleansing of from the original sin. Likewise, today's sacrament, this sacrament of matrimony, the outward sign is that they exchanging their vows by holding their right hands. So it is an exchange of vows. But the very inward sign of an exchange of vows is that they share God's love. You know, in this sacrament, Marshall is going to take the sacrament to Eliza and Eliza is going to take God's sacrament to Marshall. That is a human sign. It's a very beautiful sign. It is a covenant. You know what? Marriage is called a covenant. We do not have it. The Old Testament talks about covenant. Covenant is for a Covenant is for always. It is not on a contract basis. Eliza has decided, Marshall, let our marriage be only for three years. And married and Marshall agrees to that. No, it is not a contract. Rather, it is a covenant. It is for a Whatever happens in whichever situation, Marshall is going to stand by Eliza and Eliza is going to stand by Marshall in whatever situation is for him. Marshall is for him. Eliza is for him. So it is not fun. That's the reason marriage stands totally against living relations. Oh, yes. That is not tolerated in the church at all. It stands against the living relations. Why? Because marriage is covenant. They share God's love for each other. And Jesus has built his relationship with the church. And therefore, church has to be faithful always to her master. And that is Jesus Christ. It is exactly the same that they are going to be faithful to each other. One plus one is one. Amen. Man must be faithful. You understand that, my dear friends? So, probably talking to Marshall that I want to get married to Eliza, 
and Elizabeth Tabor started dreaming about him. Yes, yes. In the beginning, it is always like that. Marriage also becomes a sweeter. So even if she puts extra salt in the curry, Marshall will still say it is sweet. Very good. So, dream has to turn into cream, that is the sweetness. But let it not turn into scream. Let it not turn into. Then it is bad. Two stars keep in their picture. Rather try to understand each other. So, the first principle and the first law in marriage with this love of God is understanding each other. If you don't understand each other, if you don't understand each other, remember that marriage is going to collapse. When there is understanding and love, marriage is going to remain forever. Then it becomes a covenant. God's love for Martian and Martian who carry the love of God for Elijah. Simple maths, no? Simple maths. Therefore, 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. Yes. Remember that. Okay? That happens in marriage. And my dear faithful, why are we here? We are here to witness this heavenly banquet. We are here to witness this union. They together us. Are we going to be only witnesses? No. They are going to pray for Marshall, pray for Elsa. And I know the family, how hard they have come up. The mom, single, and they bring me up. So this is the love, love, which kids have already experienced. And I'm sure Marshall will exchange that love of God. My dear friends, you have come together into the house of the church. So that in the presence of the church's minister that is me and the community here, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord in the sacred sea. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those we have already consecrated by holy baptism. We think you are baptized, with that you are consecrated. And now you will be strengthened in this sacrament of marriage. That they may be faithful to each other for the day and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Marshall and Edison, have you come here to enter into marriage without reservation, freely and go heartily? Yes, I have. Yes, I do. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall be, I am. I am. Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and the church? I am. I am.
I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Thank you, Marshall, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you in all the days of the world. Your wife, do you promise to be faithful to her in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health? To love her and to honor her all the days of your life, I do. Thank you. Elisa, do you take Marshall to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love him and to honor him all the days of your life? I do. May the Lord in His kindness strengthen and send you have declared before the church and graciously bring to the fulfillment His blessing believe you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Let us bless the Lord and thank you God. May the Lord bless the day.
and especially the leaders of our country, that they may lead us in the peace, that they may lead us in peace and love. Heavenly Father, we pray for the poor and the sick, the suffering, the needy, the destitute, for those alone and dying. Show them your mercy and console them in your in their time of distress. For this we pray. Oh, 
to God by whom women be joined to man, and the companionship they have in the beginning is endowed with one blessing, not forfeited by the people these Joseph's joined together in marriage and put your love in their hearts, that they be faithful in marriage.
Me. 